There have always been plenty of talented young Croatian footballers rising up through clubs like Dinamo Zagreb. Coach Robert Botunac remembers training Luka Modric long before he became an international football star. With Modric a key player in the final, Robert can hardly contain his excitement. It's hard to describe my emotions. Just like everyone in Croatia, I can't wait for the final to start. It's going to be one of the greatest moments in our modern history. Luka Modric's talent shone despite him being made a refugee during the Yugoslav war in the 1990s and despite the fact that investment has never been a priority in Croatian football. You would think that for a country with so many world-class players, Croatia would have world-class facilities, but it doesn't even have a national stadium. In fact, this one, built during the communist era and home to Dinamo Zagreb, is the next best thing, and it hasn't had an upgrade in nearly 20 years. Riding a wave of public euphoria, Croatia's government has decided it will now build a national stadium. But with endemic corruption in Croatian football, including a scandal over transfer fees involving Luka Modric and other players, diehard fans believe a new stadium won't solve the problem. The rulers of Croatian football, the federation and the politicians uh, have made it extremely hard for Croatia to compete. And Croatia didn't make the World Cup final because of them, but in spite of them. Croatians may be willing to put those worries aside, hoping that whatever the outcome on Sunday, the result will inspire the next generation and change Croatian football for the better. Robin Forrestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, Zagreb.